after leaving the Moy family for three days, I was quite excited to see exactly how they would have got on without me. You know, whether Dad has kept in contact with the family, and particularly whether the girls have completed their English garden. Right, let's get straight to this. Okay. It says, hi, sweetie, how are you today? I miss you and the Chitlins. The Italian restaurant that we ate at last night was fabulous. Hi, Dad, my day today was fun. We went to the, um... People's City Mission and volunteered to serve food there. It was fun. I got to help make a salad and serve food to the residents. Daddy! Yay! Yay! That's Dad. Are you on the speaker? How's everybody doing today? Good! <laughs> We're having four friends come over and have join them for a little dinner party. Is that the Well, we better get get on with our party prep and we'll let you get back to work. Yep. Okay. But, but we're really glad you called. That's absolutely fantastic. I mean, you know, a dad is away and, you know, he's really remained consistent and look at the results. When he call home before, Matthew would run away screaming, saying, no, 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 I don't want to talk to daddy. And now we can't wait to talk to him, you know. And he's made a huge effort to send each child their own individual email, not just write a generic family email. It's true. It's all good. Yes. We're loving this. It's all good. Do you remember with the garden? I am not doing it. No, no, no. And I said, what? That's what we're going to do. Let's take a look and see. Good morning, good morning, good morning. It's morning, glory, morning. Good morning. <laughs> wonderful girls. This is so cool. Give us a hug. Hug, hug. <laughs> but it's wonderful to see them at the table now and how they're coming together to work as a team. I mean, they're communicating, they're talking to one another. They're absolutely fantastic. And they really look like they were enjoying themselves as well. Yeah. What we're going to take a look at here is yourself and Haley. All right, so let's take a look at that. I just don't want them to sit by them because they don't want to. It's not my fault if they Haley, don't want to. Your I, attitude is you wrong. You can't make assumptions for my friends because you don't even know. Right there, that is disrespectful and no, rude. No, it's not. I said they're this not. This is a warning. Friends. Stop right now. I'm not gonna even help you, Haley. Look at me right now. I am trying to speak with you fairly and understand where you're coming from. All right, what was wrong with this conversation? This is just very typical of the way that Haley and I have fought in the past. Mm -hmm. And just to see it makes me realize that, you know, I definitely haven't been handling it right. Mm -hmm. You know, even though I was trying, you know, it still wasn't working. So it is still mentally this thing of you feeling like you're you know, winning or losing, winning or losing. But it's not really a win or lose, because nobody's winning and nobody's losing here. I mean, it's... Mm -hmm. Right. We both lost right here. She gets you like that. Mm -hmm. Recognize the buttons that are being pushed and, and how we can mm -hmm. diffuse all of that situation. Mm -hmm. You don't need to engage in right. this. When you do, you make the mountain out of a molehill, because you feed into it. And we'll see that when we're going to take a look at the next clip here. I have given you a warning and you stormed off. At this point, you will be going downstairs to the reflection room to think about how you are speaking and the tone of voice you are using to me. Move. Right now, up and move. You have been placed here. I know. Because of, no! is why you have been placed here. Your rudeness and your disrespect. I expect better from you. Now you will stay here for 11 minutes and I will come back and I expect an apology. No. I, I feel like this is what happens all the time and I don't know how to change it. <laughs> and I don't. I thought I was doing better, but I'm not. Let's look at what you have done here in a very positive way. You have started to do something here with regards to discipline. It's not there yet, but you've started. I walked into a house where you weren't doing it at all. I don't call a mother a failure who recognises the things that they're not doing. That's not failure. 
That's a mother who's courageous and brave in recognising, hello, I'm not perfect. There's not perfect mum out there. There's a mum who does the best that she can. And we'll work on how we can elevate that level to a point where you're communicating a lot better with your girls and understanding them more. And I really especially want to work with your relationship with Hayley because Hayley's pushing buttons that make you really mad. And whilst you're feeling that way and you're holding on to that anger, it's not going to get better, your relationship with Hayley. Okay? Yes. Give yourself a break. Cut yourself some slack here. Recognise what we need to work on, but recognise we're moving forward. We're not going back. We are moving forward. Great. We are moving forward. We better start, right? Coming up, Joe makes mom admit what scares her as a mother. And I know some of the things to be a better mother are going to be scary to face. And mom gets a message from Haley that could change her life forever. When Super Nanny returns.